is because these are very important. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, we have a rational, right? So what I just wrote down, a rational, we know the denominator cannot equal 0. Correct? OK. And we also know that the, so we could say 3 times square root of 2x plus 3 equals 0. We want to find the values that make that equal 0. And then we also have a radical. So all I said was take the radicand and make it greater than or equal to 0. OK? Now, so what we need to do here is, you know, which one do we pick first? Well, I'm going to give you some tips here. Rather than doing twice the amount of work, let's just solve for this. Well, actually, here, let me, let me before I do that. Rather than writing this 2x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0, do we want this to actually equal 0? Because the radical's in the denominator. Would you guys agree? So if we change that to just a greater than, we don't have to worry about doing this over here. Because we, then that's not going to make them equal to 0. Make sense? So now, when I go ahead and solve, I have 2x greater than negative 3, divide by 2, divide by 2. x is greater than negative 3 halves, which is roughly 1.5. So now, I can just go ahead and graph that. So I do, here's 0. Let's say here's negative 1, here's negative 2. Negative 1.5, all values greater than. So negative 3 halves, comma, infinity. So it's excluded, not included. Okay? And again, since the radical's in the denominator, I just change it to be greater than, not greater than or equal to. So therefore, I don't have to worry about that constraint. Anybody have any questions with that? No. Okay. The next one. <clears throat> 